Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see once again we're on MotoGP18 for another 2019 mod video so uh, I meant to go on time attacks so sorry about that. So, um, I'm going to quickly show off sort of what I've done since the video. Uh, so it's basically just showing off the uh, sick team. So I went for the Patronus version as you can see and that is because I kind of saw that Patronus are putting a bit of money into it too. So I've used the like Moto 3 Patronus leathers and modified them. They're not, they don't look great if I'm honest, but um, it's really the best I could do. Obviously the bikes are just completely black. So along with the Morbidelli here. Um, obviously he uses the Siren model at the minute. That's why his number is kind of too high up because if you look at the Siren mapping, it's exactly the same and his number goes onto his screen because of that. Although that is something I do plan to change. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the plans. Uh, so obviously I did Saxon in the last. Oh crap! I don't want to sell that rider again. I did Saxon in the last one. So what should uh, I go into now? Uh, I don't know why the mouse just appeared there. That's a bit what a bit odd. But uh, let's go Philip Island. Why not? So um, yeah, I'm going to show off Pedrosa and I'm going to show off Morbidelli because. Um, well, that's basically what I've been doing. I did that today. I also did uh, Martin as well, um, Motor 2. If you want to see a quick uh, picture of that, I recommend going to Race Department. I'll put it on the Work in Progress forums. Showed it off there if, you, if you're interested in seeing that. So there we are. Look, see in the garage. Modded it so it's got the Patrona Sprinter Racing mechanics. Replacing the Angel Nieto squad. And you can see Michelin and the... Pang International Circuit logo and stuff like that. So, yeah, this uh, basically I used the uh, Moto 3 version of this garage and just got rid of the Honda logos, replaced them with the Yamaha ones, and got rid of the Dunlop logos and replaced them with uh, Michelin ones. So, that's basically uh, what went down. Head out to the track. Uh, you will notice it still sounds like a Ducati. Um, now, I'm not 100% sure how to f fix that at the minute. Although, I'm not actually too familiar with the different characteristics for the bikes. Obviously, my best time around Malaysia, uh, well, on uh, on the Xbox version at least, is in the 53s. And is that on a Yamaha? So, I think this feels like a Yamaha, but I could be completely wrong. Oh. It's about the first time I'm actually riding this uh, track on this game. It's a... Uh, be nice, uh, much more realistic. So, um, feel free to see. You can look at the levers. I had to. Well, there was already an Alpine Stars version, but I think I altered it slightly because I did that with uh, Martin as well. Because if you look at um, the custom livery for the Moto 2 KTM, like the custom leathers, they are the worst things I've ever seen in my entire life. Like. Well, the Alpine Stars logo on the back, at least. It's not even on the orange. The top, like, half of the Alpine Stars logo is on, like, the, the purpley colour. I don't actually what you call it. So, uh, it's pretty bad. So, uh, yeah. So, my uh, future plans at the minute are... What I've done, as well, is... Uh, I forgot to mention. So, Simeon is now on a, a GP... 17. I replaced Bautista's uh, livery and put the number 10 on the Rabat one. So Simeon and Rabat are both from GP17 bikes now. I did that so that um, both the Anahel Nieto bikes would be GP16 because my plan is I'm going to do uh, a physics and a model swap of that GP16 with, um, with the KTM. So that's uh, what Tech 3 KTM will be based off of. Um, obviously, I've got to try and figure out um, how to change the sound. Although I've not tried that at all yet, so it could be quite easy. Um, I did say in the last video I had figured out the database, but I didn't know how to import it in the game. Well, it turns out I was importing it into the game. It's just any changes I made didn't really seem to have any effect because you can make a change that you know will crash the game it does crash the game so that tells you that it is loading it from that file it's just like if you change 
the nationality of the riders in that area doesn't do anything. Although it is odd because only Moto 2 is um, listed there. Literally only the Moto 2 riders are listed like that. So um, it's, it's probably a uh, unused area of the database that just still exists from uh, early development. So that's probably why it doesn't actually do anything. That's probably another area. So obviously if I can uh, find that area and figure out how to edit it properly, then of course I will do that because um, I prefer to have it clean like that. But um, Here's my ghost, I don't know why I broke it so early there. So uh, swap over to Morbidelli now, we've done a valid lap and we'll do a different track as well. So, um, yeah, sorry what was I was saying. Uh, Yes, if I can figure out how to do it with the database, I prefer that's more clean. I don't really like doing like this. But uh, if you have to do it like this, you have to do it like this. It reminds me a bit more of the uh, 2017 mod, where I didn't actually swap any of the riders around. I just swapped, I made the riders load in the other rider's helmet model and then replaced it and made them load in the other person's name. Now, that's what I'm going to try and do with this one because I know that works as a formula. Obviously, um, it's not as good. I actually think that the 2018 mod is a lot better. Uh, I know there's a lot less updates on it, but it's because I worked more on it so that it wasn't broken when it came out. Um, this is Spielberg. So yeah, and then um, so that's my plan with the uh, the GP60 and go turn it into a KTM. Uh, and hopefully get the KTM physics and Sam working on it. Obviously, if I don't get, I, I should be able to get the physics working. I think I've not tried it yet, but it's. I know which file the physics basically is on the bike. I, I know you can't mod them, but I think apparently I've heard you can just rename them, load them in just like on the old games. So that's all right. See here, you see Morbidelli in the garage. Obviously, he's got nothing under the uh, D and Easy logo because. Um, he has nothing that well he has a Michelin logo there I believe now but um, I'm not going to take that over I know I did that with the uh, Polispagra at one point uh, on the I think it was the 17 mod I did that where I brought the Michelin logo over then I brought Eurasian bank over with uh, what the hell is the AI doing All right. I mean, uh, with uh, Lorenzo to Ducati as well but um, again that was more inexperienced than anything so um, also, what I plan to do is uh, swap Zarco and Rossi around. Well, I suppose at the minute it's Pedrosa and Rossi. Swap their... Oh crap, i go straight on here. Swap their bikes over. So then you'll have Rossi and Vinales in one folder. Uh, Pedrosa in his own and Morbidelli in his own. And then I'm going to obviously change the uh, Siren model to the uh, Zarco model. So that Morbidelli has the right model. Oh, I've just fell off. Let's restart that so that he doesn't have more scuffs on him. Um, no, what, why does AI do that? Does it make any sense? But yeah. So rejig the Yamahas a bit, really. So that uh, Vinales and Rossi in the same folder. Zarco. But yeah, this is all about it is if it's a uh, stock. Zarco has his own folder and Siren has his own folder. And make sure the Zarco and Siren models are both the Zarco model and I'll change the Vinales and the. Uh, Rossi model to the uh, the Rossi model that's just in the game already, so like the winged version, if you will. I don't know why it's been validated there, but uh, it's okay. Uh, so that's basically the uh, plans of the Yamahas for the minute. Nothing too. Oh, I've just fell off at that corner again. I don't really like that corner very much, I'm honest. Yeah, so at the minute that's the uh, sort of plans. Um, I'll probably do another few videos like this, although there's not really a lot uh, more I can do at the minute. It's more just experimenting until I get something to work, then I can implement that, which was basically what I did early on. Uh, obviously being able to swap the riders and the faces, I just messed about random. I had actually a folder just called test, and I just used to like try and swap random values around to see what would happen. Uh, that's obviously how I ended up. Um, if you see my uh, post anywhere on Race Department when I first figured it out, I had Morbidelli on Zarko's bike, and that was just the first edit I managed to do. And then I tried his face, 
using the same method and it worked. And I tried swapping bikes using that method and that worked too. So that's always good. Obviously, the database is still something we're working on, but uh, well, I'm working on it. I don't know if anybody else really is. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't blame them if they're not because you know, it's only really needed if you're doing like a season mod. I know a lot of people try to work on the camera files and the physics, but uh, again, for me, that doesn't bother me either, so I suppose it just depends exactly what you want, the, like, what each model wants to do with the game. So obviously I want to make season mods, so I need the database. Well, I don't, well, I suppose I do need the database. Um, obviously if I can't remove Mark VDS, which is ba the main reason I want the database at this point. Uh, if I can't remove them, then... I will just try and mod their physics if I can and make it so they have like no acceleration or anything. A bit like the uh, mana on like F1 2017 mods if you um, if you played any of those. If you didn't, basically, uh, well in fact you might not know about Formula 1 really. The, in 2016 there was 22 teams, uh, not 22 teams, there was 11 teams, sorry, two drivers apiece. But then uh, one team went into administration, they're called mana. So, um, but um, they couldn't access the database in the game, so you couldn't delete mana from the game. So what people did was made their like performance file have no acceleration, so they couldn't get anywhere, remove their names from the game. And well, in F1, if you don't move, you get disqualified. Oh, obviously that doesn't happen in this game, but uh, they still won't be part of the race. So uh, you know, basically, the similar sort of effect. But um, yeah, that's sort of a. Uh, Again, another little bit of a discussion. Basically, two very similar videos in a row because, well, compared to career mode, uh, everyone seems to like that a bit more. I know I've had uh, a couple of people asking to release the mod early. Like, um, I understand what you mean. Like, you're saying that like it looks good. There's not a lot left, but I don't like to really release the unfinished if I know it's unfinished. Obviously, um, sort of like liveries. That's not a massive deal. Like uh, this probably will be might be released black like this, unless I um, really take the time. But the Yamaha UV mapping is not great, if I'm completely honest. I mean, none of them are in this game actually. The uh, the old Ducatis are alright actually. They're quite similar to um, previous games, but um, in terms of it's really clear where everything is. But uh, yeah, the Yamahas aren't too great, so I'm not sure. KTM's not bad either, so I might make a Tech 3 livery. I might. But I don't want to waste my time if it's wrong, so. I also might not. But, um. Uh, yeah, that's, uh. Pretty much it. Let's finish off this lap in there as well. Uh, we're about to go straight on. Yeah, yeah, we are. We've got a little lap. I can see that coming from a mile away. So I'll uh, head back to the main menu now, and um, in fact actually there's something I have just noticed, uh, I know that in the database file that definitely it does point towards different colours. Now I could try and change the colour of this team to match their Moto 2 and 3, oh their Moto 3 variant actually because that's what this team is more based on. Obviously. Uh, Oh, you see a little snippet of Martin there. In fact, I will show Martin in this video. Because, uh... Not everyone can really be bothered to go onto the forum and look for my post. Although, it, w it is the most recent one, I think, so... Probably not. It'll be too difficult. Uh... I, I think I'll... Oh, there we go. So, to this, like, um... Green... Well... Is it a turquoise? Uh, I'm not 100% sure what colour that actually would be categorised as. But that kind of colour. Now actually I suppose this isn't too bad, this is mostly black anyway, so I could probably, I might be able to try and make something like this, especially um, if it's just a rough version, so I could just make the blue and the Patronus on the side and get these Patronus logos off the side, maybe I could try to do that, I'm not sure. Uh, don't get your hopes up or anything, because I'm by no means saying I'm definitely going to do it, but um, it's on the cards, it's on the cards definitely. Um, so let me uh, treat you to uh, Martin, which is the only Moto2 rider I've done so far and probably the only one I'll do for a while because 
it is difficult definitely to find the uh, well pretty much any entry list I just know that oh crap well there you go quick sneak peek right at that we'll go back don't worry so this is pretty much basic this is actually on the custom liveried uh, version rather than Oliveira's because I could not be bothered to remake that sort of circle well not the circle the curved edge so I just took the uh, custom livery version even though it's not quite the same but it's very similar so I'm not sure why it's not the same if I'm honest like we have to do is get rid of the number and they have to place the number down so you think they just keep the version before they place the number and then I don't know yeah that's uh, that's Martin no we'll head we'll have to try with Martin quickly you know what, actually, we'll head to track with Martin in a different video because this one's probably going to look too long. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. More MotoGP 18 modding videos, things like that. And if you're interested, um, still MotoGP 17 modding videos. Comment if you want to see those still because that game's way easier to mod and I can just make random mods for that. Like, quite frequently, I guess. Or, actually, I made a 2016 mod for that game. It's the most random thing ever, but I did. I actually did make a 2016 mod for that, so if you want to see that, let me know. Although, it'll probably mess up my ability at this game, but I'll do it for you guys, don't worry about that. I will sacrifice my ability at MoGP18, which is very limited anyway, to my uh, amazing talents back on 17, yeah. Ah, oh, yes, the AI mod, can't wait to get back to that, but yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.